Prince Harry recalled an argument between his wife Meghan Markle and his sister-in-law Kate Middleton in his upcoming memoir. In a report on Spare published by the Daily Mail, Prince Harry described a confrontation between the two women after Meghan referenced Kate's baby brain because of her hormones during a discussion ahead of Prince Harry and Meghan's May 2018 wedding. Kate, who gave birth to her third child Prince Louis one month before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex nuptials, decided to raise the prior conversation with Meghan. It caused such a huge row because Meghan was told that she wasn't close enough to her sister-in-law to discuss her hormones, and it wasn't the way people spoke to each other within the royal family, a source told the outlet. Meghan, in turn, was reportedly offended by the reprimand. Meghan had previously discussed the dispute over bridesmaid dresses in her 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. After media outlets reported that Meghan made Kate cry in the lead-up to the royal wedding over Princess Charlotte's dress, Meghan gave her own version of events. The reverse happened, she said, and I don't say this to be disparaging to anyone, because it was a really hard week of the wedding, and she was upset about something. But she owned it, and she apologized and brought me flowers and a note apologizing, Megan said. In the memoir, Prince Harry reflected on Prince William and Kate's 2011 wedding, recalling that it felt like yet another farewell, in an excerpt published by Us Weekly. The brother I.D. escorted into Westminster Abbey that morning was gone, forever, Prince Harry reportedly wrote. Who could deny it? Head never again be first and foremost Willie. Wed never again ride together across the Lesotho countryside with capes blowing behind us. Wed never again share a horsey-smelling cottage while learning to fly. Who shall separate us? Life, that's who. He added, and I recall Willie walking her back up the aisle, and as they disappeared through the door, into the carriage that would convey them to Buckingham Palace, into the eternal partnership they'd pledged, I recall thinking. Goodbye.